you know what? Uh, I was very happy in the beginning. Then you know that's when uh, I, I heard my dad's words. My dad's words. Gotta get your head, and uh, I did. Gotta get your How tough is the roster? Man. I'm not gonna be able to write in four or three days. I swear. My hands hurt right now. He could take a freaking punch. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Huh? No, I'm not surprised at all. You know, we all saw uh, Jose Ramirez fight. That dude got up, and uh, after you know uh, those times where I thought he was uh, gonna be uh, done out of my fight and Jose's fight, he got right back up. I I know exactly uh, what was gonna come. Virgil, you, 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 you made a statement know, tonight. You got some time to do, the work to do. How do you feel at 147 with this fight? 147, you know what? This was my first big test. You know what? This, this is a uh, past few fights. You know, he's they're like, I'm going to get tested this one. I'm going to get tested this one. This is my big test, and uh, I'm just glad that I, I passed the blank others. Virgil, you think you, you, put, you spilled a statement out tonight? You know what? I, I believe I did, but next fight, I'm going to have to make it even bigger. Virgil, what do you think is next? Uh, <laughs> You guys were talking about Spence, but what about the Thurmans, the Porters, the um, Danny Garcia? What do you want? You know what? Um, those fights can happen next year, depending how things go. I believe that I will be ready for them when the time comes. And uh, you know what? If, uh, if they man up and let a fighter with only 14 and 15 fights uh, get in the ring with them, then you know what? I'll be happy to take those fights. Virgil, how, how excited is the fact that your finishing ability Follows you up to 147. Like once you got him hurt, it's like you knew you going you weren't gonna get out that round. It's just, you can see about your body language. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I just, uh, you know, I just do what I do best in the ring. Um, I let, uh, you gotta trust your instincts, but you gotta gotta use your mind. You know, you can't just go in there blind. And uh, I had to think. I had to use everything I had to get him out of there. And uh, there was a point where I didn't think I was gonna get him out of there. And I think that's where I really settled in. And uh, I, it grounded me. What you learn about yourself tonight? You know what? I learned. Uh, I didn't learn anything. <laughs> this, you should still. You should. You know what? I've been knowing that I had this in me, and I still have a lot more. What round did I go? I don't even know. Six, six, six rounds. Six. The sixth round. That's that's one more round. Then I went the last fight. Uh, you still got six more rounds of me you haven't seen of me. Uh, I've definitely seen that person that person inside me before. You just you guys just have to wait. Virgil, so seeing you as a little kid sparring in the gyms and coming out as a pro, how'd you feel with the response of the people here? Would you like to have more fights here? Definitely. You know what? My my city deserves that. We don't have a whole lot of boxing uh, publicity here. You know what? Growing up, I won seven national titles, probably the most that anyone has had in the DFW. I had a uh, zero media coverage boxing is not a it's not a big sport at all in the dfw you know we do have a big uh boxing community but outside of the community no one really knows about the boxers except earl spence you know obviously he's a world champion right now but we're gonna change that what, what do you think about the people come to support tonight you know what i just want to tell uh, all the people that came in support you know i definitely felt the love and uh all the emotion and excitement and uh, i just want to say that i love you guys and thank you for coming out Virgil, did you expect to knock him out this early, or did you? Uh, were you going to go the whole 12 rounds if you needed to? I'm going to be honest. I did kind of expect that I would get him out of there. I just didn't know when it would come. But I knew that if uh, when it does come, that I'm just I'm going to I'm going to take the chance. How much time are you going to take off before you have your next fight, or do you know? And will it be here in Dallas? Whether it will be in Dallas or not, I have no idea. Um, that would be up to my promotion for me. Um, when do you want to get back into the ring? For sure, uh, one more time this year. Have Thank, you guys had any everybody. conversations about maybe getting, you know, fighting for the interim WBA title, maybe the regular, now that it's vacated? You know what? That that would, that would be a good next step. You know what? Every single uh, pass of my fight, I've been taking one step, one step, one step, one step. This is a huge step, and I'll be happy to take a bigger step. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.